Yeah. I'm Hung Lee Tang. I'm professor of biological science here at uh, Florida State University. Uh, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things that makes you want to get to the lab as early as you can. I have students who didn't sleep uh, trying to go through these things. It's, it's really exciting because uh, you are literally uh, the first uh, people in the world to know this. Because we know there is a correlation uh, between Zika outbreak and the microcephaly. And one thing that is not known is how. And the first question we asked is that what kind of cells uh, in the brain actually is susceptible for, for this Zika virus? So as a first step, we saw uh, we can use stem cell as a tool to answer this question. And that's how we started. Uh, we started to turn the induced purpurin stem cell from humans into neural stem cells. And the cell type which are responsible for developing the brain. We obtained these uh, very cells which are called cortical neuron stem cells, or precursors, that give rise to the part of the brain that's potentially affected by Zika virus um, or that it is affected in microcephaly. Uh, our goal was to determine whether this virus, this virus can infect these cells, uh, whether it will uh, affect the function of these cells. Fortunately, it worked and we did find that these cells uh, are infectable by the virus and um, they also produce more virus, which is uh, also significant because it says once the virus gets into the brain, it can infect these cells and produce more virus. In addition, it will slow down the growth, which can potentially provide a link to uh, neurological development defects such as microcephaly. Of course, uh, the definitive evidence has to come from the clinical studies from the human. But at least now, we have a model system to study how this can happen and why this can happen. We're just glad we're in a unique position uh, with the right combination of expertise with the right collaborators uh, that enabled us to quickly address this important question and provide uh, some information on this very timely and urgent public concern.